hello friends today i am going to show you how you can unlock all lock and root blocked ehr files of http injector which is latest build 4.3.174 of 2018 this video is for educational purpose only our intention is not to harm anyone and we are not responsible if you do anything and goes anything wrong with you for this tutorial you must have your rooted android phone and custom recovery installed like twrp recovery so let's begin with the tutorial first of all if you like this video please subscribe to my channel for more amazing videos and don't forget to share it with your friends and i request you to don't skip any steps on the video otherwise you won't be able to unlock your ehi file so follow every steps carefully here you need to download these all application and files that i have provided you in the description below first install expose installer and after installing it just tap on open and you will see a warning just ignore that and you can see that expose framework is not installed so here you need to install the expose firmware which is provided on the file section below so just uh, power off your phone and reboot into recovery mode i have installed twrp recovery on my phone so i will tap on power volume plus and home button simultaneously and when it vibrates i will leave and it will take me to the custom recovery twrp recovery and on that just swipe and click on install choose your storage i am i have kept the file on sd card so here you will see the expose framework zip file just choose that and swipe to confirm flash and it will take a while just 10 to 20 seconds and now you need to reboot your system okay i i want to tell you something that while installing expose framework uh, you need to install your current uh, compatible sdk version like sdk 23 is for Mar marshmallow and sdk 22 is for lollipop and sdk 24 is for no god likewise you, you need to keep in mind that uh, your current version should be supported otherwise it will break your phone and you may lose your files and it will sort break your phone so uh, i request you to don't skip any steps on the video otherwise you won't be able to unlock your ESI file I am telling you that follow every steps carefully it will take some time and when it get completed we will be there it is optimizing our app so it take a bit time and finally we have installed exposed firmware now go to my files and on uh, sd card install those two apps one is http injector ehi opener and another is latest http injector you can also download it from play store uh, which is 4.3.174 build version just open it and check the build version uh, uh, whether that is latest one or not just swipe play and you can see that 4.3.174 on bracket which is the latest build version of http injector
now yes i open our just install it and don't uh, and expose installer will pop up and uh, it will say that module is not activated yet just click on that and give a tick on it and you need to reboot your phone uh, to get framework installed okay just and click on that three dot and click on reboot and just confirm that reboot and you need to grant the super su permission just grant it and it will reboot your android phone it will take some time to reboot just be patient and wait for some time after that you will be successful and you will be able to unlock your ESI file easily what it actually does is it add a um, one section that, that which will which you cannot get on uh, that HTTP injector let me show you that ESI opener is working fine if you miss any steps then HTTP injector will pop up that you must uninstall this app so don't miss any steps now open the HTTP injector so here see the difference before you don't have that open something like that only one option was there just start now one is one option is added to HTTP injector so this is the trick guys and you can see the build version is same now you need to import some config file which are locked and root blocked as you know that my phone is rooted and I'm going to import one file which is root blocked and uh, locked so this Vodafone one yes now we, uh, it is successfully imported now go to SHS and you will see that SHS host port everything is locked it shows that it is locked and uh, username and password is also locked so just click on that open and you will see that all the required things you need to make a new ESI that is SSS server user password proxy and even payload so this was the tutorial guys if you like this video please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and share it with your friends your family and enjoy this wonderful moment thank you guys thanks for watching and if you need any type of help or if you need uh, any type of videos then please leave your thoughts on the comment section below i will try to help you uh, so uh, you also help me to grow my channel oh thank you guys thanks for watching Thank you so much.